Hi guys, it's Michelle, and um, I have a little haul to share with you. Um, I ordered this little cutie off of eBay because, um, oh God, when I was living in Kansas, I ended up selling my bitty baby and kind of wanted another one, and I found a really good deal on eBay. So I got her last week, and after I ordered her, <laughs> she was off of eBay and she just arrived today but after I ordered her I found this little cute outfit at a local thrift store and it's a bitty baby outfit I was so excited it was on a generic baby doll but I just bought the baby doll because it was wearing this cute little bitty baby outfit and I was like oh my gosh I have a bitty baby and the fates have given me a cute little outfit to go with her because she was naked. She just arrived today. She is so cute. And actually, for a used bitty baby, her hair is not too bad. She's got some paint missing and a few scuffs, but she is adorable. In pretty good shape for played in condition. She's a blonde with blue eyes. So cute. And I do have a preemie little diaper that I will put on her and her outfit. And so since I knew she was arriving today, I kind of went to the thrift store just to look around. And then I saw this in the toy grab bags. And I was like, oh my gosh, I see some things that would be cute for the bitty baby. So let's take them out and see what I got. So I got this little Minnie Mouse plate. Um, this was one of the things I wanted. It's a little juice bottle and the orange juice disappears. So I thought that would be perfect for the bitty baby. I know they're not American girl, but it is super, super cute. It would be nice if I found American girl one, wouldn't it? It'd be really cool. But yeah, um, little play scissors. So some of this might be sent off to the grandkids. I might keep some for when they play and come visit here. But a little unicorn plate, that was very cute. And this was the other bottle that was in the grab bag that I wanted, this little milk bottle. Very cute. And you pour it and the milk disappears. So cute. So yeah, I'll have to get her some outfits and stuff for if I have my grandchildren come visit me. Here's another little bottle she can play with. Very cute. And let's see, what else was in the grab bag? A little play knife. And that's it. Yep. So um, I found this. And the cute little Easter bunny at a thrift store here in town. Um, we have two, three thrift stores. One's only open on Sunday. And the other two are the main ones I go to. I think I only paid a dollar or two for the bunny. But I thought it was cute. And I don't know. It had a sweet base. <laughs> so I really didn't need a stuffed animal. But, you know, sometimes I thought it would be cute for the reborn babies. Or the her, like a little photo prop and then I found in the stuffed animals I was looking through for my doggies to get some stuffed animals for them and I found this little cutie and it's a little lion with the pacifier attached so I thought that would be cute a prop for my reborn babies and then I found these felt covered little bunnies they're so cute and they're kind of nostalgic for me because they used to have like little bears and stuff when I was a kid. So I thought, oh, I have to grab them. They make a cute little decoration for the 18-inch American Girl dolls. But yeah, I just wanted to share my bitty baby with everyone. I sold it and then, you know, find out you got a granddaughter coming. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I would love for my granddaughter to have a bitty baby. So I might keep this one here. I might buy another one and send it to them for her birthday or Christmas. But, yeah, look at the cute little juice bottle. So cute.
and I just thought this baby was adorable. So if you guys want me to make videos with this little baby, little outfit changes or role playing videos, please let me know. Um, I've been on here for, oh my goodness, almost 10 years now, I think, on YouTube. I lost track. <laughs> and I'm running out of ideas of things to do with videos and stuff for you guys. So if you want to see bitty baby videos, please let me know. If you want to see more videos of my reborn, baby Yodas, 18-inch dolls, thrift store shopping, store shopping, please let me know. I do live in a small town, so... Um, the variation sometimes doesn't ha oh, happen as quick as I want because right now I'm waiting for my life doll to put out some new outfits and they're, they did put out some new dolls, but I don't know. They don't have the ones I want. <laughs> and I do like to thrift store shop and clearance shop for my doll collection. I don't know, just to save some money. Um, my, uh, short videos of my dogs are doing really good on YouTube and that's where I seem to be making most of my revenue. Um, the algorithms are kind of weird. So as long as I don't to put more than one video, short videos together, kind of close in time, if I do that, then they don't seem to be you know, get as many views as if I just space them out maybe once or twice a day. It's just really weird. And I'm trying to figure out because I make some videos that I think are really cute and they only get a few views. And then I make, you know, another video and it gets a thousand views and I don't understand the algorithm. <laughs> but my doll videos are not doing as good as they used to. And I'd really do enjoy making doll videos and would love to have my channel thrive maybe is the word i'm going for but anyways please let me know what videos you would like to see and remember you're never too old for dolls thanks for watching guys bye